Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you my flat iron routine, so if you're interested, just keep watching. So I'm just showing you the um, leave-in conditioner that I'm using in my hair. It's by Bella Curls. And I love this leave-in conditioner. It makes my hair nice and soft, especially when it's straightened. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, to going to detangle with my Felicia Leatherwood brush just to make sure that it's nice and detangled. And I'm going to twist it up just to make sure that it doesn't retangle again. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the rest of my hair. Now I'm using the Heat Defense uh, Serum by Crema Natures and I'm going to be putting that all over my hair. And this is a heat protectant just to kind of protect my hair from the heat damage. Now I'm just going ahead and blow drying my hair. I can't remember off the top of my head what blow dryer I used. So um, when I get a chance I will put the link to the blow dryer in the description box. So right now I'm just making sure that my hair is nice and straight um, and dry. I want to make sure that my hair is as straight as possible so that when I go to flat iron my hair, I won't have to do as many passes. So I am starting from the ends and then working my way up to the roots so I won't snag or break off any unnecessary hair. And then I'm going to show you what my hair looks like once it's all dry. So I am blow drying my hair for a second time and I do that for a couple of reasons. The first reason is I want to make sure that my hair is fully dry so that when I put a flat iron to it, my hair won't burn off because it's still wet. And for two, I want to make sure that my hair is not flowing in one direction. I want it to flow in different directions so you will see me flip my hair upside down and or to the side or to the other side just to make sure that my hair is not flowing in one direction and also so that it has some movement. Yeah, just want to make sure you guys understand. I will use the cool shock button just to make sure no moisture escapes from my hair. So after using heat, you want to use the cool shock button on your your um, blow dryer to make sure that your hair is not drying out. Now for the best part, I'm going ahead and I'm starting the process for straightening my hair. As you can see, I did use a small section. I went ahead and um, I detangled it and then I'm using my Andes Titanium Flat Iron and um, it's on 400 degrees and I am going to be using just one pass, one to two passes on this section. So um, I'm starting off by, you know, hitting the roots and then I make sure that my comb is on that piece of hair and then I take the flat iron and the flat iron will be chasing the comb. And then I go as slow as possible just to make sure that I'm not going over my hair multiple times. And then um, I do cut my ends with some scissors, some hair scissors. And then I just keep doing that all the way around until I am finished. What I've noticed with type 4 hair, or at least for my type 4 hair, um, the smaller pieces that you use to straighten, the straighter your hair will get. So if you really just use small pieces and really take your time on your hair, the, the straighter and neater and silkier it will look. And yes, I know it's a tedious process. It is almost an all-day process, but if you're looking for those silky straight results, you need to really take your time and you know focus do it correctly because you don't want to do all that work and then you know have to do it all over again or kind of just give up or it doesn't last long you really want to make sure that you put in the time and the effort to get the results that you're looking for continue to do the same thing for the rest of the sections of my hair this is just section one that I'm showing you so yes like I said it is a long process but it was definitely worth it because it lasted a really long time so I'm just gonna let you sit back and relax and enjoy the music 
music and what you're watching. So I have finally arrived to the last section of my hair and I just have a little bit left. I'm just continuing the same process as I did on the rest of the sections of my hair. So I'm making sure to flat iron my edges because no one likes a, some straight hair and then the edges are nice and fuzzy. So you want to make sure that your edges are straightened as well. So I'm getting the sides and I'm also getting the back. So at this point, I'm just kind of just putting the finishing touches on my hair, clipping some ends, maybe um, re-straightening some pieces that were probably bent, all of that. So I'm just kind of playing around with my hair and just getting it back to how I want it to be. So yeah. Alright guys, I just want to say thank you for watching and supporting me. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video, but I am trying to get back into the groove of things. So just thank you for supporting me and watching my videos. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.